Welcome back. We continue our discussion on Reynolds stresses and the OpenPAV Spatial Toolbox by this technical session. We will run Spatial Toolbox in MATLAB version 2017A and show how this OpenPAV Spatial Temporal Toolbox helps us to analyze and understand Reynolds stresses. So we will load vector files from the test case we need at least several files to get the average of these file files we add the list to the names that we will load and done we obtain uh, the flow field uh, we should rather increase the vectors vector lengths so you can see it clearly if you're interested in some properties, for instance, velocity magnitude, you can color the vectors, add the color bar, or maybe add vorticity background and see the vorticity of the flow. You can also filter global, median, local, and interpolation to get a smoother field without the errors. We have here six fields. We can pass them one by one or animate. We can keep the color constant and animate again. And now we can move to the various uh, properties. So now we see errors as uh, vectors of velocity in two components U and V. We can click here get ensemble and this is a single map which is ensemble average of all the six maps that we loaded together. We can now look on capital variables which are average variables for instance vorticity on average or velocity magnitude on average and changing the colors as we wish we can add number of colors to get a smoother uh, flow field we can also export this figure into matlab and save it later for our use so this is the average field if we want the fluctuations we have to click here if we just click fluctuations without ensemble we get six fields of fluctuations so what we see is the difference between the mean field and the fluctuative field for each one of them. Okay, so the fluctuations are stronger here and weaker here. If we press both, we get mean values of fluctuating velocities, which could be only done for these parameters: root mean square of horizontal velocity, root mean square of vertical velocity component. Reynolds stresses that we are interested in and so on so if we have Reynolds stresses and we change the color map uh, manually even for instance from minus 5 to plus 5 so we set it uh, in the same uh, scale for negative and positive so we get these values again the strongest Reynolds stress values are here where the shear is strong but we can of course look also on weaker ones and see the distribution in this flow. Okay, here we have a detachment of the vortex and so on. And we can get velocity profile, uh, sorry, the profile of Reynolds stresses uh, by moving on to select all profile and we get the evolution in terms of a uh, uh, in terms of uh, rows or columns okay for instance this is the average Reynolds stress evolution where 200 is the top you see it's a 200 pixels is the top and we can of course export this value and save it for later that's it for now loading Averaging fluctuations, Reynolds stresses, a color map. That's it.
Thank you very much. Goodbye.